And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. Now we're going to be talking about Katie's Project. They're always doing something and helping somebody. Yeah, really a great organization and really a fun event that they do every year. It's called Mr. Myrtle Beach. And uh, you guys have a little contest of sorts between different men in the community. Yes, we do. And thank you for having us today, guys. We actually have 12 gentlemen from the Horry County area who vie for the title of Mr. Myrtle Beach. Yeah. It's a fun event. It's on September 14th at Revolutions. The doors open at 5, show starts at 6. So come and prepare to be amazed. <laughs> <laughs> and they do all sorts of different talents, right? Yes. Like Singing or dancing or yes. I don't know, what are some of the yes. talents? Yes, um, some of the talents we've had in the past, we've had dancing, of course. We've had a uh, classically trained opera singer was in it last year. So just we've got a really good mix of guys this year as well. So we're looking forward to another great show. Yeah. All right, we got anybody from here? Anybody from TV 15? The, the word on the street is Mr. Ed Piotrowski. Yeah. That's the word. Um, That's the word. He's a popular guy. And he's a very popular guy. Yes. yes. Uh, he's got my vote. Okay. You know, and you can vote for anybody. Can you vote already? Yes, you can. Actually, if you go to um, www.katiesproject.org, um, you can go to the contestants link, and it will take you right to the list of contestants, and you can click and pick your favorite one. Yeah, that's the whole point. I mean, as good as these guys do, what what it's based on is their donations, right? That's exactly right. Um, each vote is $5, and that goes straight back into the organization of Katie's Project, and we are so blessed to have a community that's behind us. We are making dreams come true, one dress and tuxedo at a time for these Young folks. All right, now last year, how'd y'all do last year on this project? We did the best that we have ever done. Yes, we were able to raise um, $30,000 in funds for these children. So that is it was amazing. amazing. Helping, yes. Oh, man, that is something yes. else. For the people who don't know, explain Katie's Project and what it is you guys do. Katie's Project is a nonprofit organization that's based here in Horry County, and we help underprivileged youth um, with prom necessities and, and things of that nature. We don't want anyone to miss out on milestone events because of, of money. That's just, you know, that's just outright just nowadays so yes. that's amazing you, you yes you that's amazing these dresses and tuxedos and it's really nice and people who have you know i know women we keep everything yes. in the closet so you can go through the closet and you can drop these items yes, off yes you certainly can um not only monetary donations we accept we accept tuxedos we accept dresses um jewelry anything that's prom related or formal wear related and it's building self-esteem in these young people it's not just a dress it's a self-esteem builder for them now let me tell you when i went it cost a lot back then that was a long time ago. Now it probably costs a lot of money. So I think that's great for some of these people that can't afford it. Yes, absolutely. It's about six hundred dollars and that's just for the for the girls to be able to go. Six hundred dollars. Yeah. Well thank okay, you so, for what you do. So show your thank support, you. hop online, vote for some of these guys who are up from Mr. Brittle Beach and definitely head out there in September. It's a revolution yes. and it's gonna be quite the show. Yes. Let me tell you. Thank you so much. Katie's thank project, you. Mr. Brittle Beach coming up. Stick with us. We are talking about abiding village next.